Hello everyone, welcome to the fourth summary of our Minecraft streams, which you should be watching so you shouldn't need a summary, but here's a summary. Uh, hi everyone who has left or missed some. I will be uploading the VODs as well, so if you're really bored or you just want some background entertainment, some voices in your head whilst you're working, you can leave them on for several hours during the day forget that you press play, wonder which tab is making noise, and wonder why people keep swearing. Uh, we've actually been pretty good at not swearing, and I'm going to attempt to not swear in this one again, but there will be a bleep, and if there's a bleep I said a bad word. Apologies for that. So, we've been doing some... Build I've been doing some building. <laughs> most of my... Most of my stream was spent building, and most of my building was spent growing trees. So I've made this uh, foundation. This is going to be the barracks, sort of living area eventually there's a, a spillage of staircase I'm not happy with this just now it's a little bit brusque it's a little bit on the nose you know um but i think as we build on this frame we'll get inspired as to how to make those stairs look nice now the problem with those stairs is that in order to build them i had to make a hole in the ground and making a hole in the ground is a bad idea when someone's living underground uh this is lawrence's new area this is very temporary, so don't get too excited. There is one colour of... What have you got in here? Oh, what's happening? Uh, empty hand. Shift right click. Tall mystical white flower, so... Oh, no, 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 okay, so there's... Oh, there's 16 colours of flower, because there are 16 colours in Minecraft. So this is a bad idea. Um, Lawrence did ask on stream, should I be storing... Um, petals, yes. You should be storing petals. Uh, so Lawrence spent a lot of time planting things in the ground, using mystical bone meal, making it into mystical flowers, turning the flowers into petals. We've got the pothcree here. All this is very crammed together. We've got a blood infuser, which infuses blood into things. I'm guessing that needs more blood than that. Um, so we've been running around killing things on Lawrence's behalf in order to collect blood. Skeletons contain blood, but apparently players don't. That's fine. We'll live. Um, and this stuff called... No, I'm afraid I've forgotten what it's called. Will. But the will goes in a crystal. There's a type of crystal, and apparently there isn't one in this survival inventory, which is annoying. Um, let's have a look. Uh, so that's part of blood magic, I think. And blood magic used to be a lot of a simpler, much simpler uh, mod than it is now. <laughs> There's some petals in there, well done. Um, so that was weird. I didn't like that at all. Here it is, a petty tartaric gem. So we've been filling these up. When you kill an enemy, you get will, as long as you use the right sword. It's not available here. Um, that will goes into those gems if you have such a gem and then you give them all to Lawrence and he does stuff. So watch Lawrence's uh, video which will appear at the end of the stream, the, this video, um, and there'll probably be a link down. No, I can't be bothered doing that. I will link to his video at the end of this video on those cards that pop up. Um, I don't know how that works on mobile devices so I'll apologies for that but I'm too lazy to do anything about it so good luck. Um, and you can see how those work he'll have explained it better i'm sure and if he hasn't then you can go and watch his stream which he'll have uploaded to youtube probably by now as well and you can see what he's been doing anyway mike has been collecting marble marble looks nice so that's why we've been collecting it um one thing you can do with these is you can have a chisel and if you get the right chisel which is the one from chisel <laughs> both please just give me the chisel Look at all these. Uh, there is a chisel made by the chisel mod. <sighs> there they are. So if you take one of these, just give me one. Just, just give me one. Never mind. There might be one inside. If you take the chisel uh, and put a block in it, you can turn that block into other blocks. Here's one. So if you shift right click, sneak right click, some people like to rebind their keys because they're weird. Uh, and if you, let's say you take red wool. Yes, so there are different things you can do with red wool. You can turn them all into red wool legacy carpet or llama carpet. Presumably the same for orange wool. Ooh, different types. So, these my... I'm interested now. What happens if you put these next to each other? 
this is good to know because we're supposed to be decorating these buildings as well as just doing the building, right? So these do have connected textures, which is neat. And then you presumably have connected textures as well. So then if we were to turn those into the other one, you can indefinitely switch between them, but the chisel itself does take durability damage from doing so. And therefore, ooh. This could be a nice, uh, a nice sort of hallway thing. So if we can get different colours of wool, then I know what I'm going to be doing in the barracks to make it look a little bit homely. Uh, although those are blocks, so it's going to be very thick. Mind you, for some reason I decided to build up. Well, I didn't fill in this ground, basically. So maybe we dig out this ground. And then we can put something underneath it to fill it in so that nothing spawns. And then we can use this layer to do this sort of thing, right? We can have some nice patterns on the ground. And that'll be you know, a nice carpeted area or something. Anyway, moving on. Um, Pete did a lot of quest handing inning. So we have now got a very long way through the kitchen workshop. I believe this is Pete's main focus. Um, the main quest line, tier one, has been pushed through. This is... I think this is just everyone doing this. I'm not sure who did any of this. Um, and then tier naught is almost complete. We just need more. We just need gunpowder. Uh, there's a satchel you can make. From thermal expansion. Which is also quite cheap. Interesting that that's so cheap. Considering the recipes that we have seen. Um, so there's a few things to do. I keep pressing escape to go back. And that's not how it works. Um... I think Lawrence has done more of this mystical agriculture. More white magic, more black magic. We're quite a long way through this. He's made a bowl of promises, which started with a bowl of empty promises. There was a bowl of empty promises, then a filled bowl of empty promises, which turned into a, just a bowl of promises. So presumably that is still filled. Um, the bowl is full, but the promises are empty. And this is an empty bowl of empty promises. And then this is presumably just a filled bowl of filled promises. So they didn't bother specifying at that point. Who knows? This is magic and magic doesn't have to make sense. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Mike finished off this building over here. I say finished off. There's obviously a big hole where normally you would expect a roof. Um, what I haven't done is gone through and used those slopey things. Um, I think it's literally called a slope slant. Yeah. So these things, which are very helpful, um, you can make... I want to just create one, but I can't show you. Uh, <clears throat> you can put them down like those other fences that we saw, which we used to have around here. I spent a long time just removing the fences from here. These ones, in fact. So... Sorry about that. Um, these uh, block craftery wooden thingies in general, all of them accept, accept a texture from the block that you're holding in your hand. Now these textures aren't connected, which is unfortunate, but it means that whatever you've got in your hand, you can make the thing look like that thing, <laughs> including uh, blocks that shouldn't really be done that way. Um, so the slopey things are really good for roofs because you can put you know, the mobs won't spawn on them, obviously, hopefully obviously, because they're basically stairs. But then you can texture them with anything you want. So we could have a, a wool roof if we wanted to, but... Uh, well, that might be nice for something like this, or maybe a, a market, because I've seen people make markets using wool blocks. So it gives you a little bit more freedom on the shape. Pete also messed around with the animal pen over here. You notice that... No, you can't get that, okay. Um, I think this is where it previously was, and now it's here for some reason. But notice that now it's actually using this entire back wall to keep them in, where previously they would just keep walking over the top of it for some reason. So someone's done that in between streams because I was complaining about that in the stream, and then we finished. Uh, I believe they eat this hay, which is why they're here. I think that's the vanilla stuff, though. So we have to keep replenishing that. Um, what else has happened? Uh, allow me to consult my um, cheat sheet, which is Discord. Lots of panic in Pete's diary. Fancy new food and drinks. Lot of the cooking quest line. Uh, salt on demand. 
Oh, we all spammed animals into the paddock, which is why there are so many of them, and then they kind of overflowed. Um, we had a bit of a... Have a, had a bit of a situation. Um, lots of people just did very uh, administrative things, I think you might describe it as. We all went mining, we all went building. We did a lot of quests, but we didn't create much. But over here... Man, I wish I could... Oh, I can go faster, but... Whee! Previously, we saw this mystical... Uh, nope, this astral sorcery temple. Last week, we had a look at, you know, the, the village that we explored. We died a lot down here. Oh, I forgot that I was supposed to be counting the number of deaths I did. Um, we slime slung our way over here. Pete wanted bone meal, so we came back to get some. This looks like diamond every time. I'm like, why is a diamond at this level? There isn't. Uh, so he came over here, we gave him the bone meal, and then for some reason we ended up in that chasm and then died a lot, because it's very dangerous down there. Um, and then we all went over to this astral temple, whereupon it once again got dark. This happens to us every time. So Pete's been taking this apart. He apparently, uh, sorry, Mike's been taking this apart. Pete's been doing a lot worse than that. But this thing here inside it, this floating crystal, is a part that is kind of the next step in astral sorcery and we'll get there so no spoilers we'll get there when we get there but the idea is that you expose that to starlight and that's why it's called astral sorcery because of the stars um and you use that and eventually we're going to build something high up so because it's closer to the stars so we've got some ideas for a new place for lawrence to set up camp which is better than a dugout hovel underground but uh, it's going to take some time to build because we haven't even finished building the buildings that we have started. Um, Mike did a lot of administrative, like uh, management <laughs> talking, basically. Uh, he did a lot of sorting, as did I. There was a lot of sorting of inventories, and there has been every single stream so far. So hopefully soon we can get something that will do that for us. I might be far off though because that's a bit of a computer task. Uh, some spelunking, and then Lawrence has basically made all of that stuff the trouble is when you put down a block it just looks like a block right um but by the way if you die over here and people are feeling nasty they will surround your grave is it still here with a nice marble um i mean it's it's very nice to be honored in such a way but when you get back and you don't have a pickaxe because it's in your grave and then everyone's just trolling off going lol lol I'm going home because we've still got slime slings. Um, sort of begging for people to come back again is. I thought we'd be above that, but apparently not. Pete lost the spare slime sling, as Peter's wants to do. Um, yeah, but I was saying the. <laughs> Look at how many things we've got now, though. Look at all this storage. This is all going to be over there eventually, but really when we get an auto crafting system, uh, not, well, an auto crafting system, but an auto sorting system as well, that's going to be a better place. And actually I might put it over here now. Um, and I still haven't figured out what to do about this hole in the b building, the building, the mountain, but it seems like a perfect place for a big a grand arch or something that goes into the mountain there and goes down. Um, yeah, the trouble with making all this stuff is that it takes ages to make the thing, but then there's one block. <laughs> so it doesn't look very impressive at all. Hooray, I've made the block. Pff, block, boring. Um, so it doesn't look like much has happened, but much has happened because it took us an entire darn stream to do it. Um, now these things which I was staring at but not mentioning are these cool little um, bibliocraft clipboards, which I believe you can just edit. There you go, you pick it up, you edit it, you put it down. That's amazing. I thought I'd ruined it, but luckily this is a save and not the server, so you can't ruin it. Um, so, Toolforge, draw controller. We need nether quartz for a draw controller, which is harder to get than diamond this time, because, like the name may suggest, it comes from the nether. Some mod packs do have nether quartz spawning in the overworld, um, but, uh, dimension minus one minus one I, I'm pretty sure that would have a name if it was anything other than what is this? Icy quartz or 
ice in the nether, gloomy quartz. So there's a bunch of different nether quartz ores. So when we get there, there's going to be loads, but we're going to die immediately because it's going to be the nether. Uh, and there's some on Venus, which may actually be more accessible than the nether. Um, also, can you... You can turn one into two, but you can't... Uh, with a conjuration catalyst, but you can't turn anything into it. I was cat... Barium and silicon dioxide. <gasps> what is this? <laughs> what is this crazy stuff? Factorizer, loot bag. Empowerer, presumably a void crystal, and that is what now? <laughs> Black crystal shards, which generates in dimension seven. What? Dimension negative eleven thousand three hundred twenty-five, an overworld. So the in theory we could make this instead of going to the Nether. Uh, but I'm expecting that somewhere in there you still have to go to the nether, so it wasn't really worth it. Um, sometimes you can use Certus Quartz, for example, instead of Nether Quartz, but not this time. So that's pretty much all that's happened this uh, this week. And we'll be back on Monday with some more, hopefully. Uh, made living wood and living stone by putting wooden stone around. So there's a lot of cool stuff in um, the magic mods. Especially, uh, I, I like... Oh, what's it called? Britannia. For this. Uh, there's a lot of in-world crafting. And I like in-world crafting. And what I mean by that is it's when you need to put things down and then they change. Um, sometimes multi-block structures, for example. Um, and these special flowers, which I'm not sure where they are. Because I was watching them and I thought maybe they were here. Possibly they were because it looks like things continued and have changed since I was last looking. Um, but you put down these lovely flowers, which I, I don't even know if they are nearby, and then you surround them with wooden stone, and they turn into a new material, which is grand. This stuff, in fact. Um, and then these are used in turn for creating um, different things involving in, uh, in Britannia, including your magic wand and stuff like that. So there's a lot in there. <laughs> um, honestly, it's better if you just watch the stream. Because this is only a summary of what we've done. We've got all this food. We've learned about these new carpet designs, actually, which is great. This has been here forever. We've got... We started making paper. In fact, one of the things I was going to do was make the paper and sling myself across to the village and sell it all, but I never got around to doing it. Mike started making this path so that we can have other places. There's going to be a blacksmith forge here where it says blacksmith forge. What a funny place to put it. Um, Mike's made a nice garden out here, which is pretty nice. I do like these ideas here. Um, this is pretty sweet. More of this, actually. I like this. There's like a little windowsill going all the way around. Unfortunately, I couldn't get this in the right... Well, I could... That could probably go across by one, huh? Anyway. <laughs> I'm going to keep double-guessing my own... Designs, but there's not a lot more to say. How long has that been? 18 minutes. Well, there wasn't very much to say. <laughs> 18 minutes. Oh, there's a map as well. They built a, a map wall when I wasn't looking. So here's us. Here's me. Uh, does it show? It's not updating, so I'm not quite sure what that picture is. Oh, who's that? <laughs> what is that? It is here. But as I move around, it does not change. Because there's that. Yeah, that's here. But maybe it's uh, literally a UI here and you can pin it to the map. That would be cool. I didn't know. Uh, so if that is the case, please let me know. What is this smiley thing? Oh, that's the uh, spawn thing that we saw on the first episode. There's an interesting thing here. There's our slime island. I'm interested in that. Should we go and see what that is? Um, Tristan says that he has lit up... Oh, it's this thing, I see. Plenty of coal and stuff just just up here. Of course, we don't need the... Um, can't get to the baubles. We don't need the the grappling hook anymore because we've got slime slings because we're crazy. Don't even have the bauble. That's okay. Um, that scary tower is now lit up completely, so that's... 
perfectly accessible. Lawrence can perfectly happily move in now if he wants something, you know. There's some wizard's tower if ever I saw one. And it's not too far from home, and you do want to be a little bit far away from I mean, any, you know, thaumaturgical mishaps that may happen. But anyway, I won't keep you. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm interested in this now. <laughs> what is that? It's just a blob. Okay. Uh, do join us on Monday evenings at 7.30 England time. The only time. It's just a... Looks like lava has been here once. Looks like just a, like a world gen thing. Well, it exists. Um, 7.30 in the evening, England time, because there is no 7.30 in the morning, you insane people. And hopefully actually watching the stream will inform you far more about what we're doing than me trying to explain it to you after the fact. This slime island has no trees. What an impoverished island that is. Plenty of slime though. And oh look, a dragon. This does actually look like this does actually look like the part of Skyrim where you uh, first encounter a dragon, so that's cool. I'm interested. Ash. Whoa! This is cool. So this must be the dragon's lair? Pile of gold. It is! Oh, I'm collecting it. No, I'm walking on it. And uh, chests. Anyway, you go and have your tea. Um, come back on Monday and join us. And if you missed it, come back the following Monday. Oh, the one coming up, if you are still before it. No Lawrence. So it's going to be not much progression on purpose so that we don't progress away from Lawrence because Lawrence hasn't played a lot of these mods before. Um, and we don't want to leave him behind. So... That means you have to come and watch my stream, or Boo Hiss, and then Monday after, as usual. So keep on top of that. Uh, join the Discord, which I should be putting in the links below, if you want to hear about when the stream starts. And about now, because I'm going to put an end card over the top of this, there should be a link to my previous video on that side, and Lawrence's video probably on top of my face right now. Uh, whenever Lawrence uploads it, which you may have already done. So. Enough being about the bush. I'll see you next time. Bye.